Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube, which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Thank you. What I did, quickly I'll tell you. So this is my main file, right? So in this main file, what I did, in this resource group area, we pass var tf dot resource group. So what happened? In the RG area, it will already capture, right? Name, yeah. Var tf rg name. It means automatically the rg value test rg it will captured over here. But okay. again, whenever we are calling var tf rg name over here like in the vnet area it will goes again with variable area and it will try to create new and that's why it goes into the failure state okay okay, so okay, if, okay. yeah if we define azure rm resource group rg name it will goes automatically over here it will check out yes this module is ready i need to catch this module and deploy vnet same is applicable for vnet name okay where vnet name never work we need to pass the azure virtual network test vnet this is the reference value and the name so it okay. will automatically capture the name okay same thing okay. for the resource group okay and i personally tested this it's working fine in my area i'll show you quickly. so so can you share the code because i had a couple of errors because i had yeah, an yeah, error definitely, definitely, definitely yeah definitely so this is my resource group test rg this is my vnet yeah. test vnet in s2s okay 10.10.0.0 slash 16 right let me show you okay. the variable file 10.10.0.0.16 okay okay subnet 10.0.0 slash 24 Let's okay this one Make sense? Yes. Perfect. So I'm going to share this code with you. Okay. Test it out on call. So this one is pretty fine. Virtual network. Instead of that, uh, mean at name, that is fine. And instead of the resource group name, what I have to give is uh, okay. Azure dot users. Okay, you want me to call this? So, <laughs> so instead of calling variable, okay. So first main module definitely variable call, but child modules instead of okay. calling variable, but we are directly the referring the main modules. Yeah. So yeah, let's yeah, assume yeah. that resource group is your main module and other module which is depend on the resource group that are the child module again the vnet is your main module and subnet is your child module so whenever you are yes. referring the child main module into the child module at that time you need to call main module okay but whenever you are referring the names in the main module at that time you call variable yes i got it uh, clearly Okay, now I got it. As you go so so name dot the so the network name what I have to do again I have to call it as you Virtual network. My God, why is it in Sandil Kumar? Official ID is wrong, right? Oh, bloody hell.
One second, let me type in the code. Okay, so my stuff is all ready. So can you see? It? Yes, I am. Can you see? Yeah, can you see yes, my yes, screen? Yes, yes. So now, yes, yes. So first I will save. Variable also for the so you created uh, you created one folder and in that folder you are saved this. No 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 no. This is the no. same file. No no no. You need to create a folder, na man. You create one folder. Terraform. Yeah yeah. Folder. Already 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 there is a folder. Yeah okay then fine. It is there. Test type and Terraform is the folder. You can see. Okay okay fine. I have not and copied I, whatever. I have not copy pasted your code. I have edited my code by what you have told. I understood and I edited. Mm -hmm. And make sure, as per the best practices, we are not storing anything in the C drive. Yes, yes, that also. But uh, this is uh, in production. We will not do it. Yeah, but mistakenly sometimes, you know, the production is also happen because of, you know, we, we are using day to day life C, then yes, yes, there yes, might yes. be chance. Assume dot test vnet, what happened? Test vnet. Your vnet name is test vnet. Go ahead, go into the top down, check the reference value, which you mentioned. Uh, Test to be right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. One minute. One minute. One. Minute. Net virtual network name is test V net name. The twenty sixth line it is. Yeah. Showing. So how you mention Azure? How it will understand no, no, no. that is virtual network? No, no, no. Actually, what happens is it is short listing. It is automatically taking as Azure. I will show no, you no. how we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But no, no. That is that is that is not that is not a method. Take it Azure Virtual uh, Network. This is the full name of that model. Uh, Omkar, Omkar, can you just mm -hmm. listen to me? I did that. It is automatically shutting it down. Oh, okay. Azure okay. Virtual okay. Network dot test vnet. This is how I selected dot name. Can you see it is automatically renaming it as AZU? No, 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 no. This this will never work then. Never work. Added Azure virtual network. You will receive same error again. Are you seeing my screen? Are you seeing yes, my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type it. Then type you it will Azure. Yeah, type it. Okay. Azure. You just see. Are you seeing this? Where, where yeah. I am? Yes. Yeah. So what I have to do? I am going to select Azure virtual network. Am I right? Hmm. So I am going yes. here. Hit Azure enter. virtual network. Correct? Yeah. Hit enter. Hit enter. I have hit right now. Yep. Dot. What I have to do? Test to be right? right? Dot name. This is how I gave. And what happens is it automatically reduces to years and years. That is what I asked you to see. <laughs> Yeah, applied for the resource group as well. You are a resource group. I am doing that, hit, right? Yeah, hit enter. Azure, hit enter. Yes, you are a resource group. Dot. Oh. I am going RG dot name. Oh, so, this is my resource group. So, it has taken RG. RG is capital. Reference is small. Yes, one minute. RG. This is what I am not sure how it is taking. Okay, let me. 
or gene so the same thing i will copy the same thing i will paste it. so now everything is fine right yes save it what happens is i entered azure rm underscore everything mm -hmm. but still mm -hmm. uh, okay let us let us see now how it is working So this language is case sensitive as well, right? Right. Okay, so everything is there. Now what I'm going to do is we are out of apply. So your ship starts by ten. Hmm, yep. But I saw your uh, I, know, I saw your message in one of the groups where you were you were asking for a ASM 400 training, correct? Yep, right. Okay, okay. So is it for your office or? No, no, that is for one of my colleagues. Okay. Oh, okay. Actually, this is simple, but uh, yet we have to understand a lot before proceeding, correct? Uh, yeah, definitely. Why my house is so noisy? Even if I close the door also. Oh, it's break. Why it's break check out? Once again, what happened? Hmm. Invalid okay. CIDR. That CIDR which you mentioned, that is invalid. Go to the variable. Go to the variable, okay. Yeah, how it is possible 10.10.16. It will never take. Three times you mentioned 10. Your CIDR will block up to the 6th. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, my God. Tender, tender. Again, again I made this. Oh, so now. No, 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 no. It, it will be 10.10, 10, not 0. You have allocated block 16. Okay. It means first 10, second 10. Okay. In, to, in top as well. Make Fine. It 10. Yeah. Yeah. Now just do a apply. No need to initialize now. Do directly apply. Because of your code is break, it will automatically continue from the break area.
so uh, uh, i just wanted to ask you one thing onkar uh, so if i have to write the exam because the client they also want the certification para firm associate right so for mm-hmm. that uh, uh, the training that we are undergoing is sufficient right right that is sufficient and you can go ahead more as well i don't see any challenge if you wanted to learn more because of that is based on the i can say uh, you know completely mcq so you need to study that as well oh again it's break why where it is saying 10.10 i have changed it right one minute let Right. So I have to initialize and run, or just apply will work, no, right? No, do apply. No, no, do apply only. <coughs> I have saved this. Or let me see. Mm-hmm. So there is, uh, uh, there is uh, in in variables, uh, right, Omkar? Mm. Is there, uh, say, for example, uh, I have passed in the default. I have passed four values. 10.10.0.0/24 like that i have passed uh, for an example hmm. right is it possible that i can pick only one value out of this default like an array is it possible yes that is possible but you know that is not possible with variable then we need to define another csv csv file methodology or something like that because of terraform so, so with- with csv uh, i can also take an input file and then i can process it right yeah 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 that is correct oh my god what the hell azure rm subscription example what is this because of what happen as i mentioned in the first time right it will automatically create the straight file okay now your straight file is available in that specific location go to that specific location yes yes i will do that yeah, yeah. and Hold that on. straight file that straight file is currently locking the details delete it there this is one and the mm-hmm. backup right mm-hmm. so what happen once you deploy the code next time whenever you apply right straight file will lock that code okay as i explained last uh, time right? uh, yeah yeah but but this era right and allies for the subscription already exists with the name yeah let's let's try it out let's try it out again do a apply let's check what is happening there is something wrong i think with your subscription it looks like but yeah let's see no no actually i have mentioned the correct subscription because mm-hmm. this is totally because this 434 i don't know from where it took i am really not sure no oh. but we haven't mentioned 4342 right in the no, code has no no nothing we have uh, uh, this is the only error that i am getting actually this is blocking me from proceeding okay we need to investigate then why this error is coming to me it will throw the error now resources already exist because we deleted straight file now terraform is going to deploy completely new things right now he is not understand like hey this resources are already available i just need to update oh, this he will okay, okay. yeah he will directly start to you know yep check out the error yeah already exists yeah delete it because of he is not able to now straight file is deleted if straight file is there then he will able to understand yeah this straight file already deployed we oh, has resource the test uh, test we net yeah, as well. yeah, that is that is created not not now that is created last time subnet will also created but that is created last no no time. no 10.10.24 okay so i will delete the resource group itself hmm. so it is created So then that is a good thing. No, no. Open, open the resource group, and then you are able to delete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if we get a hang of it for the first time, right? Mm-hmm. Then it is, uh, it is so easy. Because actually, Omkar, 
then i learned everything right uh, microsoft azure i learned on my own uh, mm-hmm. aws i learned on my own gcp i learned on my own so mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. these things i had ample amount of time mm-hmm. but now i i have been uh, uh, built to a client where they are expecting it to go ahead from december 2nd because the rent freeze will end right mm-hmm. black friday mm-hmm. is out so the rent freeze will end but they wanted to deploy migrate as soon as possible because when they say they want it to be done within the next 24 hours their entire infrastructure should be in the cloud that is how they speak <laughs> so that, that is the huge problem for me and and one small thought uh, i just wanted to uh, help mm-hmm. from you so the same mm-hmm. concept the same methodology everything that we use here will be used in azure rm templates as well right no azure rm is little bit different okay so with this uh, with this one uh, so with terraform i can integrate into git i can integrate into this one what jenkins ansible those kind of stuff right no terraform will not for the jenkins and ansible terraform is infrastructure as a code jenkins and ansible is configuration as a code okay sorry okay. Gen- not a jenkins uh, I, i can say ansible jenkins is ansible. a devops tool which we are using for the ci cd integration okay yeah so i can call, i can integrate these two platforms right yeah jenkins you can oh, oh my god what is happening guys deleted yes 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 one second then it should be fine oh why this is a not deleted or what one second If I delete the resource group, everything should be gone. Okay. Now shall I? Yes. in power center power shell and all if you apply right i will be able to see what is happening like uh, literally uh, these modules are getting called this is getting created even a progress bar will automatically come sorry uh, if i am creating the same thing with uh, power shell right mm. yeah, at that all the messages will be clear and i will also be getting a progress bar as well by default mm-hmm. right so in this area also you will get the progress bar right it's it will show you the creating time how much time it will take oh okay okay actually i found out about devops school uh, only recently or else i was searching for this one for a long time i tried studying on my own but my time never permitted mm. Mm. creating creating <laughs> oh my god this is the final error that comes but one minute yeah, this is, looks like your subscription issue something going wrong on subscription resource will create a hundred and one percent but this is your subscription uh, issue oh this is my subscription okay okay so this are creating are... yeah the subscription is facing some issues so you can do one thing 
uh, list the subscription checkout in the list area if you are able to see something with this both name there is nothing like this name say for example here is the account list this is the account that my terraform is getting connected so that is why this listing here right mm -hmm. so here you can see there is if if there is another subscription it will show that subscription as well right uh, can you please uh, show me that error again one second go with that error i will fine I will uh, paste it in this chat itself. This is the message that I am getting. Yep, got it. Let me check it. I tried everything. Uh, they asked me to give an allies name like this. Okay, okay, got it. Because when you create a subscription, it uh, Terraform automatically creates an allies in the background. I think so. There is no need for me to run uh, this one each and every time, right? Which one you are talking? Uh, this, uh, uh, if you are seeing my, like, uh, the mm -hmm. every time there is yeah, no need this, for remove me. Remove this. Remove, remove uh, this. Remove this. Remove this. Check out. Yes. Remove this. this is, delete so, that resource and check out. Yeah. One minute. Let me. This one, I will remove it. Now I will <clears throat> so I have saved it. Now can I go ahead and apply uh, Terraform apply? It will not cause any issues, right? No, you need to delete the resource. No, you have already created that. Otherwise, you will again okay. face the error. It's okay, exists. because the state okay. file is there, right? So it will not. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's try then. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Yeah, the state, state file, file is there. there. I agree. We haven't uh, deleted yeah. state file, right? But we have not deleted the state file, so that is it. So, but actually, this is not uh, uh, going forward. Uh, we can uh, uh, say, mm -hmm. for example, if I have n number of uh, subscriptions, right? Mm -hmm. For example, production, there will be a separate subscription, those kind of stuff. So, how do mm -hmm. I manage all these stuff by calling in? Then, uh, then you need to define the subscription. Then you definitely oh. need to define the subscription in the core where you want. Oh. Otherwise, it will randomly select the default one. Okay, and this okay, this okay. issue is happened with me in one of project what happened i just need to deploy the one code in uh, other project and mistakenly that deployed into the default project okay that was another client project subscription yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. and i was faced a lot of challenge and i missed that I, I i was think like hey this is not deployed and after to watch our complete session enroll for our premium membership Click on to the join button and enroll yourself with the best suited option. Two three days when I goes on the customer call at that time customer told hey unkar this is happening in my resource. So at that time when I investigate at that time I found hey like two days ago I I run this code and that is replied. Ah yeah. Mistake and in another resource. Oh so working with multiple subscriptions also we have to be careful. Yeah yeah we need to uh, take care of this part definitely. Now oh, it's working yeah. right? Yeah now it is working.
okay perfect so there is no need for us to create once that is done it, so uh, how uh, the only way uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so the, the only way for me to connect so for example we created everything but now mm -hmm. uh, my question next question is uh, how do you uh, this is a terraform that we connected everything correct mm -hmm. i use the right. as login into this and i connect it mm -hmm. correct i use the command az login and because of that the azure communication is happening so right. uh, without that can i pass the username and password uh, directly in the terraform itself is it possible no that is not possible we need to do az login only okay but uh, and if username and name and password you added that is harmful okay if mistakenly that username and password because that we moved. have we have that we have that okay 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 that because what happens is okay, so every time Mm -hmm. I have to log into the terminal and run the code, right? There is no other option yes. for me. Right, 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 right. And everyone is following the same step, okay? There is no any advanced step which is available because of what happened. So because, what happens, this, is, because yeah. what happens is uh, when we have this uh, stuff like uh, authenticator, additional uh, two-factor uh, two authentication, right? Mm -hmm. So I just saw another step wherein we can... Uh, connect so let me let us discuss mm. that later yeah but frankly speaking that is not good method okay to add the plain text password in the code is i guess yeah, yeah. I, you know that, that, that is not, not recommended that what you yeah. said is absolutely right yeah. so that is not at all recommended okay uh, okay Anka. then i will uh, start creating Resources, try to add VMs, those kind of stuff I'll try and I'll come to you. Yeah, so you can try out to create the Windows and Linux both VMs, okay? Once yes, you try yes, out yes. this, then go ahead with the other details, which is something like VNet pairing, okay? You can check out storage yes. account, try to create, okay? Yes. This yes. stuff you can check out and let me know if you face any issue anywhere. Yes, yes, yes. Today I will okay. try that. No, okay. sure, no sure. So if so we, we have a session. Okay, by 6 we'll point discuss point. Over. Yeah. Along with that, you can access our other tutorials such as Docker, Ansible, Jenkins, Terraform, Splunk, AWS, Azure, and various other DevOps related premium tutorials with our channel membership. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 3D99 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.